lovely day indeed. Time for Furiosa. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing this hat container. This is the only thing I could kind of find that sort of resembles a Mad Max Fury Road or Furiosa sort of style mask. I couldn't find anything else in my costume closet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. This is the sprawling, decade-spanning origin story of the renegade Furiosa as she grows from a kidnapped innocent girl to a powerful road warrior as she gets her revenge for the death of her mom. And he took it all from me. Who do we have here? This is our destiny. To start off with, I'm not the biggest Mad Max fan. However, I really love Mad Max Fury Road. And I was totally blown away. I was transported to this crazy world, amazing stunt work, some of the best action scenes I've seen in years. George Miller is an absolute master at his craft, telling great visual stories without having much dialogue. Furiosa is no different than his past films. I think it is such a great addition to the Mad Max world. And this is the origin story of where she started from as a child. And it spans over like two decades at least from her being a kid into a full grown adult road warrior known as Furiosa. And I think that transformation is shown very well throughout the entirety of this film. The biggest thing about this movie, and I'm gonna bring it up now, that really was maybe not a letdown, but it's just not as good as Mad Max Fury Road, is that it's a prequel. It's kind of like Star Wars uh, Rogue One. And as much as that film is so well directed by Gareth Edwards, it's such an awesome prequel movie. It's a little bit inconsequential at times because the stakes are automatically dropped compared to the original story. Also, this movie is decades in its story. It tells the story of Furiosa from a little kid to a full-grown adult. Compare that to Fury Road, which takes over place like over two days, maybe. And it's just a non-stop action-packed chase movie. And then it becomes a race movie. Full, high-octane, guzzling sort of a movie. Where this is a little bit more personal of a film. It's a revenge movie. And that is the straightforward story it's trying to tell. But it does have a lot of theology to it. It has a lot of ideas that it's presenting. It has a lot of quiet moments throughout the film. It's not as loud and as bombastic as Fury Road. Even though there are a lot of scenes that is like that. And there's some great stunt work. And I'll talk about that in a minute. This movie is a little bit different than Fury Road. It isn't the same thing. The tone is different even. And the pacing. The way that the story unravels. It is a chapter movie. There's literally chapters. I think it goes one to five throughout the film where Fury Road was just like, as soon as the opening credits start, boom, we're into the movie and that's that. The runtime is way too long. Almost basically two and a half hours in length. All the other Mad Max movies are well under two hours or maybe just over two hours, just kissing over that two hour mark. So this movie, the fact that it's almost like a half hour longer than Fury Road, didn't feel like it needed to be and you can feel the runtime in this movie like there's absolutely moments especially in the middle of the film that are lacking or just they just totally slow down the pace of the film <laughs> where fury road just has this constant incline and then a great satisfying ending this was more like up and down and up and down So it's a little bit more jagged and uneven of a film, especially with its editing, its pacing, and the way that the story unfolds. Those are really the only minor things about this film that were uh, maybe not even troublesome, but that definitely held it back from being like a full-blown masterpiece like Fury Road is. But if you're looking at this movie objectively, how well it's made, you can't deny George Miller's genius. And I think he is one of the best, if not 
the best action film director of the last 40, 50 years. And also what I love about George Miller is that he experiments, he tries things out. M might not always work, but he explores the world of filmmaking in such cool and beautiful ways. I just respect him as a filmmaker and a director so much. The action in this movie is unreal. Like it's so impressive. There are about two, maybe three sequences in this movie that I literally, I'm like, how did they do this? How did they accomplish this? <sighs> Some of the set pieces, the chase scenes, the, the rigs that they drive, the cars, the motorcycle chases. There were some really cool things. One thing that this movie actually did a lot better than in Fury Road was it, they change up the action scenes. This movie, there's much more quieter scenes in the action. Like there's a scene at the beginning of the movie and it's not giving anything away because this is in the trailers for this film, but Furiosa gets kidnapped as a kid and is taken. And the mother of Furiosa chases these kidnappers and she's shooting at them in this vast desert land and all these sand dunes with a sniper. And she's like taking them out one at a time, but it's done in this like sort of chase and stop and go action scene. And I thought it was such a cool, brilliant opening to a film like Furiosa. The actors in this movie are awesome. Some wonderful performances. Definitely the standout of this film though, it is Chris Hemsworth with an absolutely career defining performance. Like I think this is his best acting I've ever seen of him. He totally morphs and changes into Dementis, the character of Dementis. And it is hilarious at times. It is so downright goofy and ridiculous but i love it he was also menacing and creepy and just a total villain through and through it's time to take the front wheels where are you going sorry full of hope there is no hope and this is a role that we don't see from chris hemsworth very often i don't think he's ever really been the big heavy in a movie before not quite like this he would steal every scene that he's in and just eats up the scenery. And you can tell he's having a lot of fun doing it. And I loved him in this film. Anya Taylor-Joy was a good Furiosa as well. And I thought she did a pretty great job with Furiosa considering she had big shoes to fill literally with Charlize Theron. I want them back. I want them back. The revenge story between him and Furiosa is so great and very well told and you feel the revenge like you want Furiosa to get revenge on Dementis in this film but by the time that these two characters meet up they finally have their confrontation it is so satisfying so good it is a very satisfying film it is super entertaining as well the world that this movie is set in is so cool and they definitely show us a lot more of this world like that we actually get to go into the bullet farm and gas town we get a little bit more of the citadel and there's just some really cool things that we didn't get to see in fury road that are much more explored in depth with furiosa the cinematography is gorgeous in this movie. There's some really cool shots, but also I loved how George Miller and the director of photographer of this film move the camera throughout the action. And the camera moves around it and through it and above it and back down. And I just thought the choreography and the camera movement in this film was top notch, just spectacular. While this movie is unfortunately compared a lot to Mad Max Fury Road and that can't be helped, this is a really entertaining, fun, crazy, high octane, guzzling filled film. And I think if you love the Mad Max franchise, you're gonna adore this movie as well. If you are a casual fan like myself, um, your mileage may vary. Again, no pun intended. This is definitely a movie to check out in the theaters. This is meant for the big screen. If there's a movie to go see in theaters this year, besides Dune Part 2, it is probably Furiosa of Mad Max Saga. Before I give my final thoughts on this film, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Also, while you're doing that, comment down below, what did you think of Furiosa of Mad Max Saga? Was this one of your favorite Mad Max films? Let me know with your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you so much for doing that. Overall, this is a wonderful movie. I'm gonna go ahead and give Furiosa of Mad Max Saga an A-. <laughs> 
Hope you all had a great time. I know I did. Come back and check out some other video reviews such as Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, If, and The Fall Guy. Have a great day. Stay focused. Stay awesome. And as always, let's get taught.